So guys, Game Pass is far from done this September, bringing in some amazing new titles, specifically a lot of day one Game Pass titles. And I know most of us are playing Starfield, but you don't want to miss these new games. We'll also take an early look at the insane new day one Game Pass games for October. I'm Sonny, your host at Xbox Central, and we kick this off with Lies of P, the Bloodborne and Dark Souls inspired title. Now reviews are in, and the game has launched to positive reviews all around. One reason reviews are good is that Lies of P kind of stands out with its awesome story, something that's a little different than other Dark Souls types of games. There's also a unique mechanic where you decide to tell a lie or the truth, and it's going to directly affect how the story plays out. And that's because Lies of P is inspired by the story of Pinocchio and Geppetto, only in a dark, twisted world. Combat is fast-paced, your right arm carries your weapon, and your left arm uses utility like a quick kill or range attack. Weapon crafting is available, and you can create completely unique one-handed weapons. Also, the areas that you explore and the boss fight though are what really are ultimately that stands out with this game you're gonna have a lot of big fight encounters overall if you're looking for a bloodborne or a new souls like experience but in a well done crafted story with a lot of fun boss battles and awesome combat lies of p is going to be a good one on game pass it is available today on console cloud and pc now a fun multiplayer title coming to game pass is party animals this is a physics based game that lets you choose from a variety of animals and it lets you battle it out against your friends now the game does come with a variety of of different game modes and overall you're getting kind of like a mindless set of fun and a game that just isn't meant to be hard to grasp that way even maybe the least gamer in your house or friends can go ahead and pick this up and pretty much have a simple but fun time with you pretty much beating them up or you guys falling all over each other this is really all meant to just be a wacky fun party game party animals lands on september 20th on consoles and the cloud now payday 3 is set to launch here soon and this franchise has been one of the most popular co-op shooters of the past decade due to its action-packed gameplay mixed with some wild and crazy heist that you partake in and payday 3 is really set to be no different you and your crew of four will plan and execute a high stakes heist with the goal to shoot out the cops in most cases i've actually gotten to play the beta recently and one thing that really stood out is just more of the upgraded version both visually and gameplay wise there is new mechanics at play that really spice up the older formula but overall it still stays true to what's made the franchise popular the last decade plus on top of that there is still the ability to execute solo or team-based stealth heists as well where your job is to not get caught and walk away with a bank vault full of money without a soul finding out about it that's really my personal favorite thing to do with this franchise but the big draw is the co-op craziness of robbing a bank or a jewelry store with a group of online players or go at it solo with you and an ai crew either way if you're into being a criminal really there's none other that do it better than the payday series payday 3 is set to launch on september 21st on pc cloud and xbox Series X and S. And if you guys are liking this video, please thumbs up and subscribe for more. So we have yet another new day one Game Pass title that I really hope a lot of people don't overlook in Cocoon, a game coming from the creator of the highly beloved titles of Limbo and Inside. And in this unique adventure, it's set in a universe where worlds exist within each other, and those worlds exist on these orbs that you carry on your back. And you'll be puzzle solving to manipulate these worlds by combining or rearranging to solve mysteries. Ultimately, you're in a world within worlds controlling and uncovering a cosmic mystery and as you progress throughout the game you'll unlock even more worlds to get control of that help you discover new pathways and objectives if you guys are a fan of puzzle titles and you like a really cool unique twist on them i really think cocoon's a good one this one does launch on september 29th on consoles and pc now a big surprise drop for game pass this october is gotham knights this launched earlier this year and it takes you into the world of gotham city but what's different here is that batman is dead and a void has to be filled and it's actually filled with the Batman family. Gotham Knights is an action open world RPG where you go at it solo or you can play with friends and take control of either Batgirl, Nightwing, Red Hood or Robin and each of these characters come with their own unique fighting styles and abilities and ultimately the goal is to explore a full open world Gotham City and take down criminals and keep the city safe. There is a story element to the game but it's mostly forgettable from what I'm seeing. The fun really is with the combat and running around with your friends and co-op or just going solo and taking down vast amounts of criminals and building up your character in any way you want and patrolling the city to stop these bad guys. I will say the co-op element might be the most fun if you have friends or you're jumping in with others online because there's no restrictions or limitations. You and your team can go anywhere separately and tackle missions if you want, cover more of the city, or do all of this working together side by side. Either way, since Gotham Knights released, it's seen some updates that's really improved the game and I really do think now it's worth diving into even though it 
received kind of bad reviews when it launched earlier this year. Gotham Knights is available October 3rd on Xbox Series X and S, Cloud, and PC. So another day one Game Pass title in Lamplighters League is set to launch this October from the makers of the Shadowrun trilogy and Battletech. And with this one, we go into a new world in an alternate 1930s where a tyrannical cult is on the cusp of world domination and it's bringing full evil to every corner of the world. Now there's always been one group that has stood in their way and that's the Lamplighters League. Only now there's one huge problem. The best of the best of this team is all but dead and you're left with the worst of the worst left alive and all that's standing in the way of this cult finally taking over and you you're going to be in full control of these misfits all with their own unique set of traits and abilities as you try to sneak steal and shoot your way to saving the world the game is strategy based and the combat looks like it's well done with a mixture of different types of attacks and strategies that you can implore not only that you can recruit new allies into the lamplighters league mostly a mix of outlaws and outcasts who will help you destroy this cult before they get the ability to take everything over every mission you do will actually grow your team and grant new abilities you'll be building up gear for each of the characters and augmentations and a lot more lamplighters league looks like a really fun title i'm excited for this one as it drops on october 3rd on xbox series x and s cloud and pc and with that we now take an early look at game pass games coming out next month and guys i don't think you realize how insane october is said to be as we are getting the much anticipated forza motorsport maybe the most anticipated racing title this 2023 you're getting a collection of over 500 cars jaw dropping graphics and visuals and the game is set to feature real world racetracks and locations the multiplayer will also have us competing with racers worldwide and of course the game is just going to be chock full of customization across the board we'll talk a lot more about forza motorsport in the weeks ahead but for now this bad boy is set to launch on game pass here pretty soon on october 10th now before motorsport drops on october 4th we have warhammer dark tide finally hitting consoles this is an action-packed gore-filled first-person title with some of the better visuals you'll see on an xbox game and this game's all about mindless hordes of enemies that you mow down with you or your friends as you try to save the city from the brink of collapse this is going to be a good one on xbox consoles and we'll actually have some special coverage of this game here on this channel now a game i know i think a lot of people will be pretty excited about is city skylines 2 the first game today is still one of the most played games on a daily basis but number two comes in with improvements left and right a new dynamic weather system new revamped transportation system a new disaster system and a lot more this is coming on october 24th then we have maniko's night market this lands on october 26th this is a narrative driven game that focuses on friendship tradition and the japanese culture you'll be crafting whimsical items eating delicious snacks and participating in events this is also another day one game pass game and then finally we have at the very end of october the game jassant this is an upcoming action adventure set on a mysterious island where you explore solve puzzles and the biggest thing without a doubt is climb and scale massive mounds to discover new civilizations and uncover new troops so if you haven't realized guys there is a crap ton of new day one game pass titles coming within the next month and a half on game pass and i really think it's pretty insane so it's a great time to be subscribed to game pass finally the games leaving game pass this september 30th are on the screen there is some good ones here like outriders moon scars proteus and weird west so it sucks a little bit you do get that 20 percent discount but if you guys want a big list of the best open world games on game pass make sure you check out that video on the screen